So with that, how many of y'all like the musical part portion right there? Y'all was feeling that? All right. How am I on time? Uh, I'm good on time? All right. Now today, I'm gonna take off my rapper hat and I'm gonna put on my teacher hat. Oh, where's the hair at? You can tell I've been teaching for a long time because y'all kids done got on my nerves so much, all my hair done fell out. But nah, seriously. It's funny that Judge Hatchet is talking about dreams. Because look at the topic that you see right here giving birth to the unborn dream. Now, we already know that everybody in here has dreams, but I got a question for you. How many of you love babies? Raise your hand if you love babies. Come on now, girls. You know that if somebody come up, yeah. Oh, can I hold them? Can I hold them? As many times as them babies get passed around in the church, you might think that they the offering plate. But y'all, so y'all know about y'all love some cute babies, right? Yeah, I love them too. They do the funniest things, especially when they start walking. You know, they start this. Because they just can't get it right. Especially those low legged ones. They're so funny. You know? And you can take a look up there and you see some pictures of those cute babies. What does that make you say? What, what word comes to your mind when you see that picture? Oh. See? He's like, who's she looking at? Why is she taking a picture? Oh, look at them. He's looking the wrong way. They got him on the bad side. Oh. Now, people tell me, because you see that little guy right there? That's my baby. And you know what people tell me? They say, oh, you got the cutest little baby. And you know what? I got to ask myself a question, because sometimes, I don't know, maybe, I'm, maybe you're not like me, but sometimes I just ask crazy questions. Like, what would they say if I had an ugly baby? Can you imagine somebody, you just push you, you know, you're a, a new mom, pushing your baby, you're in the baby carriage, you stop in the park, you stop in the park, and you see, oh, look at that baby, oh, baby ugly. <laughs> That'd be a shame. But you know what, it really sounds funny, but I think that it's hard to think of a find an ugly baby even if you think about it. Why? I think that's because God made babies to be something that's cute. Something that's adorable. Because you know they got stuff that comes out of them that ain't adorable. Out of both ends. Parents can not get an amen. Ugh. Especially the same stuff. But you know what? I got a question for you. Have you ever thought about what it takes to get them here? I ain't talking about the birds and the bees. I already know where y'all going with that. I know this generation. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about the whales and the penguins. Huh? I'm talking about the big old pregnant moms that walk around like they got that big whale in their stomach. And you know the way they walk, right? You know, I, my, one of my uh, pastors was joking. He was like, you know what? Now your wife is really pregnant because she got that penguin wobble. Y'all know what I'm talking about? And sometimes, you know, because it's hard for them. They're not the same anymore when you're pregnant. You know, and matter of fact, sometimes they might be watching their favorite TV show sitting on that sofa, nice and comfortable, and then they just get like, uh, uh, they got the breathing, you know they start that breathing. Uh, then they try to get up. You, 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 you need some help? You need some help? Nah, baby, I got it. And then they do that rock from like, Side to side, try to gain enough momentum and finally get themselves up and almost fall. And you know what? Hanging around it could be a lot of work too. Tell the truth. How many sons, how many sons here, brothers here, who have a mom who's been pregnant and had you do a lot of work? Say, you had to do everything. I mean, she drop a pen. Baby, can you put that pen cap back on the pen for me, please? It's like they help us. But you know what? I really enjoyed that part. Because it felt like I was a part of the team. Now I know, you know what I'm saying, I ain't had no eight pound baby dropping out of me. You know, so you're like, what type of work did you do? Yeah, you know what work I did, but, you know what I'm saying, but at the same time, 
I had to do a lot of work as a husband. I had to stand right by her side for everything that she did. But you know what? And even not only me, we had a great support system. And I know y'all like, okay, where is he going with this pregnant people thing? And just follow me, watch for me for a minute. We got you. And at the same time, we have a support system. Matter of fact, I remember when she was pregnant, and then she went into the hospital. And I'm gonna be real with y'all. Y'all see the Cosby show, y'all see these TV shows, and y'all see, you know, that mom is pregnant and the house is immaculate, not expected dust. Nah, that ain't the real. Put your hand up if you know that ain't the real truth. You got a pregnant mom in the house. Cause you know what? If you ain't doing it, ain't nothing getting done. And you know, it was a lot for me, so the house was a wreck. But you know what? My parents, my wife's parents, they was like, you know what, babe? You, mom was like, you know what? What you need to do before she comes home from the hospital is you need to go ahead and we need to just clean this house up for her. You know what I'm saying? Because they came to the aid. It was like clean sleep part three to the X dimension. I mean, everything you named them, we had, I thought we was in boot camp with toothbrush or something. But, you know what? That support system was there and it was able to help me. Now, this is where I'm going with that. There was the birth. All I can say was my wife, she must have been like a Navy SEAL. Cause you know what, women, they, women if you've ever had a baby, you know how painful it is to hear about all that? And they say, you know, give you the needles and knock me out. But you know what, my wife was a trooper, she didn't even take any medication. She had it straight and natural. That's crazy. But you know what, when I think about it, this is what makes all the difference to me. See, that's my wife when she was pregnant, and I was looking to protect her. But when I see that picture right there, I know that it's all worth it. Every ounce of energy that I put out, every time when I had to walk with her, every time I had to protect her, it's worth it. How many of you have ever been pregnant? Look, my hand is up. So you're like, what in the world? I ain't see you on Oprah. You ain't that dude that they had on Oprah. How you gonna be pregnant? But you know what? I'm talking about pregnant in a different way. I'm talking about pregnant with a dream. How many of you got a dream? See, we talked about that before, but now we're gonna talk about what it takes to carry that dream. Because you know, every pregnancy, a successful pregnancy means it's carried what? The full term until the delivery. And so that's what you gotta do. You gotta make sure that you can carry that dream to full term.